gotta get our boat in here. Right, Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're out here today. What'd you say, 20 acre? 20 acre private pond slash lake kind of ordeal we got going. We got the boat on the back. Right now we're trying to figure out how to launch this thing. You know, you know what the biggest fish coming out here is? It's been here for the past 40 years. Okay, there's something big in something here, big. we got that. We got that figured out. There's gonna be something big in here. How do you think this is gonna go? Nice. Pete the handyman. <laughs> Strong muscle man. I'm gonna give this can camera to you. Hand it here. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? You are now on the Braden Price boat, officially. Hey, this, the boat up. is a mess. Bro, we need to tie up, because once we leave this cove, yeah. fish in action. Fish in action? Right. Hell yeah. I'm we got, we got Noah seven. over there unloading the other little boat. There's gonna be in that one over there. Miller, stay out of the water. <laughs> Let's run this trolling motor, get on out of here real quick. All right, boys, we're about to clean this mess up. Shout out to Noah, Reed Farms. He's the one hooking us up today on this beautiful water. We haven't even seen the whole place yet. It's about to be a killer time. What? What's up? You're an idiot. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna be fishing off the front of the boat for a little while. We got chatterbait and Texas rig trick worm. That's all I really want. Miller, if you want a fishing rod, I got you one. Miller's entered the cockpit, boys. Let's get to fishing. Go ahead, throw the cooler where it's supposed to go. I'm gonna throw the Texas rig since it's so hot. So I don't think these fish are gonna be, then again, they might be getting really active because it's been cold so much and now it's warm weather. What do you think? The water ain't warmed up. Like we're gonna, we're gonna hit the structure for sure. I wanna hit that. All that water coming in. I don't know where that goes, but I wanna take the boat up in there. There's a lot of structure down there. So this place has been here for 40 years. That's awesome. Warming up on that, the, the rock on the sun, warming up the water right there. Oh, it got hit. Got one, got one. Yeah, good one. Oh, don't get hung up. Come over that. There he is. Oh, that's a good fish right there, son. Look at that. It came off that rock, I'm pretty sure. Warming up on that rock. Look at that, that's a good little fish right there, y'all. Yes, sir! Let's throw him back. There's one, there's another off the rock. That rock's holding fish, it's warming up with the sun. And it's the first, it's, it's the warmest water in the lake right now. Don't get in that trolling motor, dude. Oh, that's a good fish. This is more bass than we've caught out of this boat in an entire day in two minutes. All right, let's see a little dude. What dude? I love that sound, black trick worms, dude. There's, there's another, there's another off the rock. They're on that rock. Let me put down the power anchor. Dude, that's three casts on that rock. First three casts on that. I knew there'd be fish on it because that's the first thing the sun's hitting in the warmest water in the lake. Another one right there, boys. Heck yeah. See if there's another one on this rock. You might have to switch to that black trick worm, dude. I mean, as soon as it hits the water, they're on it. They even have time to bump it up and down for the two of those fish. If the sun's not out, I don't think this rock's gonna hold any heat. Boat's working perfect, y'all, I love it. Power pole anchor, oh my gosh. Lifesaver right here. It might be the black color. I've always had such amazing luck. Like, I can catch nothing. I can throw everything I got in one day, and I'll switch to a black trick worm, and they bought it. And I've gotten to where like, I just wanna throw, if I'm throwing soft plastic on a Texas rig, it's a black trick worm. Hey, I'm gonna throw up in that crease you see on that left. I was kinda surprised three came off. I knew I knew fish would like that, that rock bringing them heat, but I did not think there'd be three good fish on it like that. <laughs> it was back to back, I couldn't keep my line in the water. That's crazy. They're biting, though. You would never catch me on public water again if I had a place like this. Glad we haven't got split up yet for those fish too. I feel like throwing a chatterbait through all this stuff would work really good. I'm about to whip out a check for old Noah here for fishing rights. <laughs> Back at it again. Look how fat he is, dude. Oh my God, why is this so that short? one's a short chunk, son. Holy cow. Yeah, there's a monster in here somewhere. All right, we're gonna switch it up to the chatterbait real quick, boys. See what kind of action we can do on that. What pound thrust is that? Oh my, get the camera, Miller, get the camera. Drop over there too if I wanna see him. Go, put that full blast. That's gonna be a great thumbnail. 
Dude, what the hell? You said deer. Where did he come from? I thought it was a horse. I'm like, that's a deer. Look, he's about to go up on the bank. He's gonna make it to the bank, son. No, he won't. He's gonna have to go to the. But that's another island right there. He's gonna jump on that island. He was sitting on this island, y'all. Go, he's gonna have to cross to the other island. Dude, what the hell? You said deer. Where did he come from? I thought it was a horse. I'm like, that's a deer. Look, he's about to go up on the bank. Look, there he is. The deer is on the abandoned island we were just talking about. That's crazy. Look, we got two people standing on this deck. It works oh, yeah. great. I think he doesn't make it to the other side. Keep going. There he is. He's jumping on the other side. He gone. Is she gone? Which brings us to our next little cove to fish. <laughs> <laughs> what in the hell, y'all? Hey. He was on a little island. How did we not see him? We were literally looking at the island and talking about it. Apparently, it bedded on it. And I guess it's a good place for a deer to bed, but he had to swim to the island just to bed there. Who knows how long he's been there for, too, man. As, as cold as it is, it doesn't look appealing to me. <laughs> I was trying to get a spinner bait out for Miller. Look at him scattered everywhere. Well, that was exciting. <laughs> See if Miller can catch his first fish. I feel like such a dad. I got you tied up, buddy. Actually, shit. Yeah, I got you tied up, buddy. All right, you're gonna catch this thing, okay? Please catch it. So look, I'll keep, I'll keep this. I'll hook it over here. That way, we can pull it up if you don't catch it. It'll be great for the video. There's gotta be a big fish in here. There, I'm, I guarantee there's a 10 pounder in this, this place somewhere. There's one. Yeah. Oh, he's such a baby. You see that hook set? <laughs> I'll let it rip. I'll let it rip for this dink. You gotta be kidding me. Little dink. Gotta get a new worm. You got one, dude? Yeah. I'm moving his back, bro. Oh, what the heck happened to him? Oh no, this dude got beat up, son. Let's see him. Dude. Is it that side? No, it's that side. No. Both sides, yeah, bro. Dude. Damn, dude. What grabbed that fish? Poor little guy. Hold him up. Look at him. He's pretty, though, man. That is a pretty fish. Dude, kicking it. Still kicking it. No matter what battle that scars is he insane. has. Dang. I see That's so many. That, I mean, there's yeah. no scales right there. I see so many fishmen that have this, just on both sides yeah. of these long scores. Look like a gar grabbed them. Is what it looks like, don't you think? Here's one. Look at them fight. The water's pretty clear. I love watching them fight down there. All right, you ready, boy? Come up. He hooked them right in the bottom of the lip. Right there in the bottom. They're eating on these tea rigs, man. You got one? Yo, let's hold them up for the pictures. Let's see what you got. Mine was kind of out here in the middle, not gonna lie. Bad buddy. Bad buddy? Look, I'm a <laughs> toddler sometimes when I talk, okay? I can't pronounce words right. Bad buddy. Bad buddy. I'm glad these islands out here are holding fish. It almost gives you more bank line to fish. <laughs> I don't know where he went. He picked, does he? He was still on it. I just couldn't, he was swimming towards us. I couldn't catch up to him. I kept reeling in. I was like, where is this fish at? And I'd feel it every now and then. I thought I was still twitching it off off the bottom, but finally I just realized he was swimming towards me. Get up here. Yes, sir. Dude, he was swimming towards me. I kept reeling in line. I was like, he hit it hard. And I couldn't, I couldn't catch up to him. And finally I caught up to him. I was like, I think he might still be on there. I felt a little bit of weight and I went to set it. Look at that, guys. Beautiful little fish. Bye-bye. You got him? Oh gosh, that a better one? That's a good fish. Almost had a double. Mine came literally off the bank. Oh, he got it. He got it? There he is, big one. Oh, what you do? You need me to, oh, that's a good one. There we go, I didn't have my mic plugged in. Miller, one day we're gonna go, we're gonna go fishing and I'm gonna strap a GoPro and mic to you and it's just gonna be you cussing and talking about, oh, anchor's down, anchor's down, anchor's down. <laughs> what? You hand me that rod, I'll tie you something else up after we fish this cove. Here's one. What? What, Miller? What, Miller? Oh, God. <laughs> what, Miller? Yeah. What, Miller? Yeah. Hey, there's your first fish right there. Hey, come here, little guy. Can you know how to take a fish off the hook? Because you obviously don't know how to tie a fish in the line. <laughs> he swallowed it. That one's actually kind of deep down in there. Oh, my gosh, I just gut hooked this fish. I literally pulled... <laughs> It was in his mouth and I jerked it back and it went into his gullet. I literally just manually gut hooked this fish. Oh my gosh. I ain't retying, I'll tell you that. Go down in here through the gills. Give it the good old twisty twisty. Oh gosh. I saved him. He ain't even bleeding. Got him. Oh, little dude. There's one. Oh, little dude. I set the hook like it was a big dude. You had me, you had me up here thinking we had a giant under here. Gave a big old wake. I hooked him, I foul hooked him. Look how that hook went in. Look at that, another little fish, y'all. Yeah, definitely. Let's head back out for sure. Let's hit some more banks. I'm having so much fun. 
Thank you, Noah. All right, boys, we have been absolutely slaying them today. How many fish? We caught, before this, we went and fished two ponds, right? What we catch, 40 fish? Wearing them out. We out here on this smaller lake. This is a 20 acre pond is what it is. And we are smacking them. We probably caught another 15 or so and uh, we were wearing them out. With this water, uh, there's a, some islands on it. Let me show you. That deer actually jumped off that island right there and went to that island and then over to the bank. With these islands, you can fish them kind of like banks and they're actually schooled up around these islands and a little bit out in the middle. Obviously, they're on the banks or all along this place too. And this place is gorgeous. Big shout out to Noda. <laughs> Noda. <laughs> Yoda! Shout out. <laughs> Shout out to Noah over here at Reed Farms. They are just so, what's the word I'm looking for? Shout out to Noah over here at Reed Farms. They do a lot of weddings and stuff and quail hunts mainly and fishing, all kinds of stuff. Skeet shooting even. They got skeet towers. I mean the whole nine yards out here and, the, and these ponds out here too. Some of the best fishing I've done all year. It's awesome guys. So uh, let's get back to fishing and uh, see if we can't slay some more. There's one. <laughs> it hit my GoPro like I had to make sure that thing's not broke. Why are you gut hooked? All right, guys, for gut hooked fish, get your pliers. He is fully gut hooked, if you guys cannot see. All the way down there. Going through here, the gills, bottom gills, maybe even top gills. Top gills will probably work. Nope, got to be through the bottom gills. Not good for the fish, but it's better than having a hook in their throat. Go here, grab as low on the hook as you can, and twist it out. There it is, right there. And that fish right there, boys. Healthy fish. Let's get back to fishing. You got him? There he is. Yeah, see, you set the hook up a lot of times. Yeah, you set upwards. I set to the side. Honestly, I'm about to make it a goal just to have Miller catch a fish today. Bro, he will catch a fish. There's one. Double. Both chunks, dude. Heck yeah, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at that. All right, boys, just doubled up. That was pretty cool. Miller was filming, so uh, bye bye. Baddies. A little backflip. All right, let's move back towards that bank. Miller, how are you enjoying your fishing, of your day off of in fishing? Cast right there, Miller. Cast right about there. We're gonna get you a fish, butter. See if any bass are over here on this rock again. Getting some of that heat. <laughs> Guys, if you have this problem with braid, I've been casting it, it acts like it backlashes, and it's my braid getting stuck from where I've set the hook on the fish. And that messes up my whole cast. We need to fish a fishing tournament together. We're gonna cruise up right through here. And hopefully not hit nothing. Where are we headed? On the other side of this island. Okay. Hey, you boys want to race? Bring it. Come on with it. Whoever gets our first is pink slips. Pink slips. <laughs> he doesn't have a slip. <laughs> oh, this is good. What? Oh, wow. Let me try it. Mm. Orange Mountain Dew. That thing good, good. A little bit of tang to it. It's like a sun drop. Yeah. No, like, no, the crush is almost. It's pretty good. Guys, we're headed on to the other side of this little pond slash lake. We haven't fished over there yet or been over there. Be pretty interesting to uh, see what we catch over there. Oh, sh they're taking the shortcut. They lied. They said we're going over there. I want my pink slip back. Y'all play bumper cars? Who needs a foot controlled trolling motor when you got this for $90 at Bass Big Pro? Fish. Big fish could be up in one of these coves. They're all about the same size, though. We ain't hooked nothing decent. But you know, every pond that has a bunch of the same size little fish like this, there's always one monster. I've thrown this black trick worm literally all day on this Texas rig. It's been wearing them out. I'm shocked I haven't seen many ducks out here. So random when I get backlashes. Oh, that's a big boy duck blind right there. Got Miller's, Miller's got a Miller's got a fish. There you go. Miller, your first fish ever, bro. I'm so proud. Miller, your first fish, dude. You know how to hold him? There's one. Ah. Oh, there we go. He choked it, dog. And not Big Belly Big Belly Kelly. Not Big Belly Kelly. Cannot wait till we catch Big Belly Kelly. There's one right there, y'all. It's gonna be one out on this point. It's gotta be. There's one. Yep. Right where I said so. Yeah, right there. You're gonna pull one out right there for sure. Oh, get up here. There's another one, little one, guys. Bye bye. Big Belly Kelly's gonna be right there on that log. I'm gonna have black trick worms before this is over with. There's one. That's a good one, I think. Nope, never mind. He's small. <laughs> oh, he's, he can put on some weight right here. I'm coming up to the front. <laughs> I knew there's gonna be one back in there. I just couldn't cast back there. Oh, there he is. He's coming to the boat. See a little dude? There's one. There it is. Yeah. Good? Uh, bowing the rod off a little bit. He's digging. He's, oh yeah. Oh yeah, son. What's up, man? 
Oh, he is digging deep, son. Trolling motor down. Oh, that's a good one. This one ain't a dink, boys. You got one? Oh. Check out that chunk right there, boys. Heck yeah, we'll see ya. You got one? Dang, we could've, I should've saved that one just a little bit longer. There you go, smoke them. Oh no, what was that? I don't know if we're going, oh, what was that? Look at this, we got two people fishing off this deck. How about that? And people act like my deck's too small. I could fish out here till dark, I'm gonna be honest. There's one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, uh, he's not too big. It's a good one though. How, look how hard these fish fight out of here though. This, they're not like pond fish. They're more a lot, they're a lot more like lake fish out of here. Look at that, I don't even give up when they're in the boat. These fish out of here actually fight like lake fish, y'all. It is crazy. At the deer club, whoa. At the deer club pond, all the fish were usually caught off the dam side. And that was just like the most easiest side to fish. He'd walk there and fish, and that's where he'd catch a shit ton of fish. Oh, let's get comfy, boys. These fish got a lot of color, I love it. There's one. Yeah, he's still on it. I'm shocked he held. Yeah, how did he just pop off? Are you serious? Guys, excuse my language in today's video. It has been a stressful day when it comes to hooking fish. So to all you parents out there, future videos, Brayden won't be saying a naughty language, okay? It's just today. Today's been very stressful. I'm really upset at how many fish I've lost. I'm tired of fish popping off. I'm tired of fish not getting to the hook and just biting my tail. I'm tired of them nibbling it. I'm here to catch fish. Oh gosh, oh gosh. I'm losing my bounce, dude. I think I'm like dying. Miller, you have a fish? Miller's got a fish. Yes, sir. Let's go, Miller. Big Belly Kelly's on this side, y'all. Feeling it. All right, but, but slow, it down, slow it down. I had a bite right behind that drain. They hit and moving stuff now. Oh, there's one on it. What the hell just happened? Don't talk to me, I don't know. It took my worm though. Big Belly Kelly's on this side, y'all. Feeling it. He took my worm. That stingy, bad worse of a fish. Miller, got the bank. Oh, he got a fish. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big one too. Bro. That was the biggest one you caught. Yeah, that was a 10 pounder all day. All right, boys, let me show you how it's done. Switched up June bug color. You're not going to catch a thing. All right, guys, I ain't getting no hits off the old T rig. So you want to put this down for a minute and throw the old catabait. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Catabait time. Oh, look how we're drifting. This is perfect. Look at the rear end of the boat. We're Tokyo drifting this corner and we're gonna fish both banks perfectly. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Three, two and a half, three pounds. On that black, I told you it was it was because I had a uh, June bug. <laughs> Look at that little chunk. Switched to June bug, we caught a fish. I mean, we switched to, from June bug to black and we caught one, baby. That's what we needed right there. Oh, I got one. I was reeling it in and I got one. Got Are you serious? You have to be kidding me. That's a good one too. I was literally reeling it in as fast as I could run this thing back into the boat and he grabbed it. You have to be kidding me. Oh, that was epic. Guys, I was, if, I could not reel my reel any faster when he hit it. <laughs> That's crazy. Like I was literally going so ham on my reel. I looked up at Noah's butt. I was like, they probably think I'm retarded. <laughs> and he hit. <laughs> there he is. Black trick worms are where it's at, baby. That's a tank. That's a good fish. I love these pliers right here, y'all. That little Rapala tool holder, so nice. Huh? I know they dig like lake fish, don't they, Bubba? Look at that, doubled up. Because <laughs> you usually, you do a single backflip. I'm gonna do double to top one up you, Bubba. All right, I'm gonna pull one off this tree real quick. <laughs> no, it went over my head. I heard it whistle by my ear. We got Peter on the front. He's cranking. I'm throwing a T rig. We're just running around. Black trick worm. What are you throwing? Just a shallow diving uh, square bill. Miller! Miller's wearing them out, son. Miller, we're proud of you, bro. One foot from the boat. Dude, if you cast out a worm, do not leave it in a rod holder. Miller will cast over it twice now. All right, Miller. If you want these, you got to catch them. We ready? Yeah. Ooh, clean there you go. catch. Clean catch. What kind of off brand two dollar muffins are Oh, uh, 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 that was not my fault. You're good. Peter, mm. you're catching one right now. Watch this. Braden, how's the day? Amazing. Yeah. Wearing them out. We gotta go through that canal. Can I steer? I wanna steer. You read me depths. Here, let's trade spots. There's a bridge in there. Oh, that's cool. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. that bridge is low. All right, this is how we're gonna have to do this. I think the seat will make it. Beaver's in here. Yo, it's cutting it close. 
<laughs> Y'all talking about close. Is the rear seat gonna make it? We're just gonna have to get a running start to pull through anything. Oh, we're going through a bad spot for this right now. This is badass. Can't believe this place has been here for 40 years. I want one more fish. Come on, come on, come on, buddy. Where? Now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get this boat onto the trailer with a front trolling motor. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, it has been a great day today. Big shout out, big thank you to Noah over here at Reed Farms. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it has been an awesome day today. Big shout out to Reed over here, over at <laughs> Farms. <laughs> Farms. <laughs> 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 ladies and <laughs> ladies and gentlemen it has been an awesome day today <laughs> ladies and gentlemen it has been an awesome day today big shout out to Noah over here at Reed Farms today has been an absolute awesome day we went to fish two of his ponds we fished this place this 20 acre lake slash pond wore them slap out I bet we've all can all together maybe pulled in 80 fish oh you can't keep track there's no way keep I mean track. it's a ridiculous amount how many we brought in I mean they're back to back to back doubles left and right all of them weren't the biggest fish but we slap wore them out great day if you guys really enjoy these fishing videos please like and subscribe if you guys really want to see more fishing videos Go over to the Reed Farm Instagram and tell Noah here that I need to come back fishing. Let's do it. Let's blow his Instagram up. Anyway, let's get this video to 10,000 likes and, uh, well, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.